Good morning, Britain. Making sure the Queen feels protected. Prince Harry speaks out following his secret meeting with his grandmother. It was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on, she's on great form. We always, she's always got a great sense of humor uh, with me, and I'm just making sure that she's, you know, protected and got the, the right people. Well, you, you make her laugh. That's what she always says. Uh, I, did you do it again? Uh, yes, yeah, I did. <laughs> The Duke of Sussex also calls the United States home, saying he's been welcomed there with open arms. And this interview will be of concern to palace officials. It comes just a day after Prince Harry had that secret meeting with the Queen, which many assumed may have eased growing tensions within the royal family. I apologise for the impression that it gives. Mr Speaker, I want to apologise. I want to say sorry, but I apologise for it unreservedly. I respect... A repeated apology, but one the Labour leader has called a joke. So, is it enough to convince MPs as they're set to vote on whether the Prime Minister's Partygate claims in the Commons should be investigated? Well, Boris Johnson is taking no chances with their loyalty. We could see him ordering MPs to vote against that investigation as he is thousands of miles away in India getting on with the job. The UK government pledges more weapons for Ukraine as Russian and Ukrainian forces continue to fight along a 300-mile front line in the eastern Donbass region. Remembering Stephen, in an exclusive interview, Baroness Doreen Lawrence tells us how she'll be marking 29 years since her son's murder and whether she thinks the Met Police have changed after the force was labelled institutionally racist in the wake of his death. And she's fab, isn't she? Multi-award winning singer Paloma Faith on feeling compelled to perform for Ukraine. And also her excitement at heading back out on tour. We'll be joining, she'll be joining us live in the studio. Wednesday, 20th of April, 2022. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Kate Garraway and Adil Ray. And we start with breaking news this morning. So Prince Harry has given an exclusive interview of a night with a US TV network in which he says that he has, in his words, been careful to make sure that the Queen is protected and has the right people around her. Yeah, in clips released ahead of the broadcast of the full interview, the Duke of Sussex has also revealed that he now feels America is his home. It comes in the wake of his recent meetings with the Queen and his father, Prince Charles. With more on this, we can now talk to our North America correspondent, Noel Phillips. Hello, Noel. Uh, so, listen, where does the Duke of Sussex feel most at home, then? I guess you could feel at home in both places. And, and who exactly does, does a Queen need protecting from? These are the big questions from those very small clips we've had. That's right, Adil. So many questions, and I think this is another TV moment that has the potential to drive Harry even further away from his family. This interview was meant to be about the Invictus Games and to celebrate just how successful uh, they were in making its comeback, you know, especially after the COVID break. But instead, it's descended into Harry uh, voicing and airing his frustrations once again. It's a year after he sit down at bombshell interview with Oprah Infrey. And I've got to say, watching this interview, you see a very different side to Harry. Him. Uh, you know, re responding very, um, very somberly to the questions about his grandmother and at times speaking with his, you know, head and his shoulders. And I think the striking thing that a lot of people will take away from this interview is the question about the Queen and what it was like meeting her and him, you know, talking about the fact that she needs protection. Protection from who? Her advisors? Her son, Prince Andrew? Is he referring to the fact that...